I love what I do because there are always two interpretations. Some people see these things as magic, and some people see them as sleight of hand or trickery. Some people see it as deception, others see it as entertainment. Except when I'm on, that's not so much. But uh, we're going to try and get a few different interpretations. Would you do me a favor and just call stop as I riffle through these cards? And would you please remember that card? And would you help her remember that card? Have you got it? Excellent. That's one interpretation. But let's get another card. Um, would you also help me? As I riffle through these cards, would you just call stop? Stop. Right there? OK. And would you look at the, uh, look at the card for me? Okay. Excellent. And can you help her remember? And uh, Kenna, can you help her remember? Yes. You got that card? Excellent. First interpretation would look a little something like this. The first card, four of, that's yours, right? Four of, oh, then that's yours. The one that you saw? <laughs> <laughs> Two interpretations, right? <laughs> but this is good. This is good because where some people would see a problem, I see a solution. What was the name of the card you picked? Uh, King of Spades. King of Spades? Ooh, there's your King of Spades. That's the first one. It works well. But there's a second interpretation, a second card. What was the name of the card you saw? Ace of Diamonds. Ace of Diamonds. Right, I think it was, it was the Nine of Hearts yeah. you saw, right? You, did you really see the... You're sure you saw Ace of Diamonds? And you're sure... Two interpretations. <laughs> <laughs> Problems for me, but two interpretations. You know, a tear is like a fingerprint. There's only one like it in the world. But the great thing about two interpretations is that sometimes they work out no to be the same thing. The corner still fits. Perfectly fitting. There's your nine of hearts, your ace of diamonds. Thank you.